day and welcome back to the cities in Charles. Sorry about the voice, guys. Obviously, uh, as you know, when I've been to a match, sometimes uh, I lose it a little bit. I sort of, I remember going the first trip to Wembley and I'd uh, lost my voice before the game had started. But hey, that's uh, a long time ago now, guys. I was only a little teenager, but sorry, I still lose it now uh, when, I, when I sing. But I was singing loud and proud last night. Anyway, we're, going to, we're here for the player rating show, guys. Uh, with Simon Bukowski of the Manchester Evening News. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's slightly different. I think it, I'm not going to say we're over the top, but uh, I was very disappointed with Aston Villa last night. But you can only you can only beat what's in front of you, can't you? Of course, it ended City 4, Villa 1 on the 3rd of April, 8.15 kick, kick off. Uh, yeah, seemed, everyone seemed to get there OK. And I don't even think people left as early as normal for a game where we were winning it comfortably. So, uh, although the Villa fans uh, thought otherwise, but uh, they weren't around, were they? But uh, if any team does the cheek to call to sing about empty seats, it's Aston Villa. I mean, it's just beyond belief, really, isn't it, guys? Anyway, match day 40. We'll have a look back at the player races. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything. City past, present, and as long as I can keep going. So stick with me, guys. And if not, if you're pressing those buttons and you've got any mates who are not not seeing it yet, get them on here and have a look at all the stuff on the channel, hundreds of videos on City. Of course, you'll see film and TV stuff as well. So if you're any interested in that, you know, someone who might be interested, get them pointed in my direction. I'll be very, very grateful. Right, no further ado, let's have a look. Simon Bukowski from the Manchester Evening News, and I'll add my two pennyworth. Old Tiger, our number one. Made two excellent saves in the second half with the score at 2-1 that kept City's lead. Another good save in the first, although that was offside. I thought they were good saves, yes. I'm not going to do uh, people saying Edison wouldn't have made him. I don't particularly agree with that in fairness, but it's a different keeper. It's a different game, isn't it? As soon as he kicks it or pings it wide or long, it's a totally different game, so you can't compare, really. Um, yeah, just stepping up uh, like Arsenal last time. I think we got away because they weren't pressing, were they? Uh, and this is, this is the difference between Ortega and Edison. Uh, if your Ortega gets time, it's no problem whatsoever. And not uh, Villa like Arsenal before them just didn't press, um, so he was happy on that front. But uh, he can only do he can only do what pressure is put under. Cards he did very very well. He did a very good job. So Simon gave him an eight. I, I'd give him a seven point five. So yeah, good job from Ortega. Great number two. Uh, emphasise great number two at the moment but yeah even I'm having my doubts uh, Lewis terrific link up play with Foden as the two scurried between the Villa sh bumbled is that is that a word scurried between the Villa shirts up the pitch although Villa's goal came from the space that Lewis left behind yeah you know when that goal started my about 10 seconds before it went in the net I, I'd sort of groaned at Rodri about something I can't remember what it was I just thought it was caught out of position and then obviously it ended up in a goal, and I thought, well, it must have had something to do with it. I've got a chance to watch it back, but I think defensively. But good, but you know, give Villa credit; it was a well-taken goal, uh, and I thought Lewis was was very good. I don't think he's as smooth. I think he's a bit more um, not panicky, but a bit you know, but trying a bit harder, and he doesn't have to. I think he can be a little bit smoother and calmer, Lewis. But another good game. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see him getting game time now. He's been struggling this season, hasn't he? And I think that's a problem. He's just not had the game time that he had last season, and perhaps the impact, and uh, he's, he's having to learn from that. Simon, give him a seven. I've given him a good 6.5, but I'm not going to give him more than that, in fairness. Akanji, Lewis going forward meant uh, Akanji stayed back, said Simon. He wasn't brilliant for the Villa goal, but made up for its general play. Yeah, we can't, we can't, you know, it's, you know, mistakes happen. Uh, wrong wrong place, wrong time happen. We can't, we can't be too critical, can we? I, I know I can, but we, we can't really. I just thought it was a really good display from Akanji, perhaps not to the level of the Arsenal game. But uh, I think that level of consistency had last season, we just need to see that now, between now and the end of the season, and up to now he's doing it. Uh, Sam would give him a seven, I'd give him a seven. Diaz, a few too many loose touches at Kirk Guardiola's raft. Now, I'm, I must have been the first half, I don't remember that particularly. I don't remember thinking, Ruben, what are you doing? Although certainly he had his moments, said Simon, in a physical battle with Duran. He's just giving him six. I only saw great blocks from Diaz. All right, 
generally when the, we were defending our end where I was standing. But that's all I saw. I, I just I, did, I thought he had a, a really good game. I mean, Simon's given him a six. I've given him a seven point five. I, I, I didn't remember him doing too much wrong. Uh, Guardiola, another decent outing. Looked comfortable, said Simon on the ball and getting City out to some tight positions with his awareness. Yes. Uh, Enjoying himself, fantastic. All right, he's not creating. Perhaps Pep wants him to create a little bit more. But he's, he's as I said, Rico Lewis uh, isn't as smooth as last season. We can see Gvardiol is going to be a smooth player when it comes down to it. And he's enjoying himself with with making the Aki's loss less important for me at the moment. You know, I thought we'd miss Aki, but at the moment, the way Gvardiol's playing, I'm not really missing Aki that much. Uh, seven from Simon, a seven from me. Rodri, outstanding and undroppable. As I said, I wasn't sure about that goal they scored. A good goal and an even better assist for Foden, said Simon, to make the game safe on top of everything else he brings. Yeah, I mean... It's time to give him a nine. I think he's gone a little bit over the top. I did mo as I said, I did moan about something that he did, but I think he got dragged out of position. But he can't be perfect. You can't always be perfect, as I've said with other players. So, uh, yeah, excellent, great goal as well. Just for, just when we needed it, really. Although, of course, uh, it was one of those goals that we didn't defend very long, did we? But uh, never mind. But yeah, Simon's given him a nine. I'm going to give him an eight. I'm going to be one of my highest scores. Bernardo, or air shift in the middle, said Simon, and worked well with Jack Grealish to build City's advantages on the left. Uh, yeah, it's, I think they link. Uh, he links well with uh, Jack, I think. I always like to see him further up. Uh, I always love to see him in the box causing problems and shooting, but again, he didn't get that much opportunity to do that. But uh, yeah, seemingly he did what a role that Pep has of him, and he never gets rollered, does he? I think he, Pep tells him to do something and he does it. Simon's given him a seven, I give him a seven as well. Foden, Simon said his first half wasn't amazing. Yeah, yeah I did wonder at times where Phil was. Uh, but the three goals that followed made his performance another phenomenal one. Yeah, you can't can't take anything away from him. I mean, Simon's been kind with a nine again. Uh, but, hey, all right, a bit of luck with a free kick. Uh, that would have hit the wall if it had been an half-decent wall. But uh, great finishing in the second half, right place, right time. Although, you know, again, you he he didn't blow my socks off with his performance. But what can you say when he scored a hat-trick? Anyway, Simon give him a 9, I give him an 8.5. Doku, his decision making still needs work, says Simon. It does, but he showed good strength in the first half and picked up an assist. I mean, yeah, I think we can see it with Doku. He's, he's, he's got it in him. We know, and he can only get better. It's as simple as that. Uh, an assist, which is a nice thing to say. We've not had many chances of saying that, I don't think, this season. Don't know how many, how many he's done, if any, uh, that many. But uh, yeah, much better from Doku last night. I thought he was. As I said, let's 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 think. I don't think Villa was quite as good as I thought they would be. Perhaps the loss of the keeper before kick off was a bit too much for him. I don't know. It's unsettled him. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm give him a seven. I've given him a seven point five. Doku. I thought he was uh, very good last night. Grealish. Simon said, lively, aggressive, able to win free kicks at important moments for his team. This is Grealish from last season. Yeah, almost, almost. All he gets is getting the booze, isn't he? That uh, he was getting last season. I think a goal would have been lovely. I think he had two or three opportunities to, to try and score. Uh, lacked a little bit of. Uh, positiveness in, in actually hitting the ball and trying to score rather than just pass it to someone else to take responsibility but I think like Doku caused problems all night I think he enjoyed himself and it just would have been nice to see a goal to shut them idiots up uh, next to me in the south stand so Simon's given him a seven yeah I've got to give him a seven as well Alvarez interesting one Alvarez last night wasn't he uh, his movement and awareness were excellent to Simon but his finishing was average I thought Okay, uh, I think there was a header where he didn't couldn't do much more with it, and there was a shot where it was an okay save with his legs by the keeper. So uh, Simon said he should have had at least one goal, possibly. Um, I don't know what the XG on the chances were for Alvarez particularly, but I thought he had a good game, a better game last night. He's obviously not getting much game time. He's been struggling a little bit in front of goal. But he was—he never stopped last night, did he? I, I thought, in the absence of Haaland, he did a reasonable job. Um, I won't get carried away. And Simon hasn't. He's given a six again, which is obviously his lowest scores amongst his lowest scores tonight. I give him a six and a half. About I thought, I thought he was okay, and I'm not going to overly criticise his attempts at goal. But he, that's something when you watch the treble winners things from last season, you just remember how lethal he can be in front of goal. And he's, he's lost a little bit of that somehow. And I don't think it's his fault. I think it's how, how he's being played and what he's being asked to do. And I'm sure he'll come through it. Uh, 
Uh, subs, Kovacic for Rodriel, 75. Not, not enough time for me to mark. Simon's given a six. He said settled into a game already won. I don't think I ever really noticed him. Nunes for Silva on 75. Came close to giving a penalty away and then nearly scored. Did he? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it was a bit of a, bit of a shoulder charge coming together in the box, wasn't it, uh, for the penalty? No, no, can't know. If the ref's not going to give it, VAR won't. And if the ref gave it, VAR probably wouldn't have overturned it. But I don't. On on just seeing it the once at the ground, I don't think so. Uh, Simon's giving him a six again. I remember him doing one great sort of turn, did he, and then shot over. But uh, a little bit unlucky. But he got it on, got that on target. He, I might have rated him, but no, he, he was not long enough for me to rate. Bob for Foden. Almost found Alvarez in the box. Yes, live. Let's say it was up the other end for me. 80 minutes he came on. Simon's given a six again, I say. It's too, not long enough for me to mark him. And Gomez, a cameo on the right wing. Yeah, it's interesting to see him go over to the right wing. I thought something next going on here. Uh, but he came on for Doku in 80 minutes. Simon gave him a six. Yeah, again, I can't really rate him for that amount of time he was on the pitch. Uh, yeah, for Simon, our top, top raters were Foden and Rodri, both with a nine. Um, I don't think there's much argument. Some, some people are putting up Rodri as man of the match. Uh, City gave it Foden. I, I think if you score a hat-trick, even though, as I said, I don't think he was all over the place, as in creating or beating players, but yeah, he has to be done for the hat-trick and uh, stepped up. And that's when we needed him, stepped up and scored three goals and uh, two of them were crackers, the other one was uh, a bit lucky, but hey, it doesn't matter, does it? It all counts, so uh, I don't think Villa will be happy with that goal. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Please check out my story of the game, which will be out later. I'll have a quick chat about the Villa fans and the atmosphere last night as well, which was OK. It was OK. It wasn't bouncing, of course it wasn't, but... Uh, I just love the Villa fans. They haven't, they haven't got European Cups to sing about. They come up with some other crap, don't they? But uh, we'll talk about that in the story of the game. That'll be out. Uh, I'm not recording it yet. That'll be out uh, today, Thursday as well. And please check out my Palace versus City, the Premier League years. We'll have a look back at uh, our good record. Our good record at Sellers Park over the Premier League years. And on Friday, very quickly, of course, uh, uh, watch out for my Pepsi 11, my preview of the Palace game. Let's see uh, what sort of team Pep's going to put out with old Real Madrid round the corner. That'll be an interesting one. Have a, have a watch, see what you think, and let me know what you think as well. Until we meet again, I'll ask one thing, don't I? Please, stay safe, Blues. Come on, City! Bye for now. Mm -hmm.